Fox News alert now. Top Democratic leader slamming President Trump over the treatment of protesters outside the White House yesterday. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and the Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer have been quiet, though, about the rioters since many of the protests turned violent nearly a week ago. But the two have released a new joint statement saying, quote, at a time when our country cries out for unification, this president is ripping it apart, tear gassing peaceful protesters without provocation just so that the president could pose for photos outside a church dishonors every value that faith teaches us. So let's bring in Congressman Doug Collins, a Republican member of the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman, good morning. Good morning. Guys. I'm going to get to what the president did yesterday at St. John's Church, but let's start with the fact that this long statement, it was several paragraphs, I read it closely a few times last night from Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, and I saw no mention of violence. I saw no mention of riots. Why are they not calling out the rioters? That's a great question for the media to ask them. Why would they not call out police officers being shot? Where are they with the family of the Las Vegas police officer who was shot in the head and is on life support right now? Peaceful protests need to happen. That's part of our culture. It's part of who we are. And change needs to happen. But you cannot ca not call out Antifa and these agitators, these anarchists who are in the middle of these peaceful protests who have now made them into something that is very damaging. You know what is damaging to our culture is when the people do not feel safe on the streets because people who want to, to use a death of, a, of someone to actually just go in and steal something. That's never should be allowed. Where is their outrage there instead of their outrage at a president that they thoroughly dislike? So uh, we just pressed the Democrats. Let's press the president now. The Washington Post uh, kind of getting into a narrative that many in the media are pushing right now about yesterday and what happened in Lafayette Park. Uh, the Post saying the verdict seemed clear. The president had staged an elaborate photo op. These are their words. Using a Bible awkwardly held aloft as a prop and a historic church that has long welcomed presidents and their families as a backdrop. Your response. Uh, the Washington Post doesn't cease to surprise me. And again, using, uh, I think they seem more concerned that he actually had a Bible, a symbol of our faith, seems to be more concerning to them than the actual issues that are going on in our country right now. Look, uh, Ed, we've got, a, we've got a real chance and opportunity here. This is something that I've been working on for a while. I'm the son of a Georgia State trooper. When I hear about these, and I used to watch my father go out when there were issues like this and protest, and you never knew what was going to happen. And then hearing the, the evidence of what's going on here, if the Washington Post and, the, and our Democratic Democratic leadership would actually get together and let's start talking about ideas that can actually help our communities, bring uh, concern and love and communities together. We've done this before. Chairman Goodlatte, before we had a police working group, I went over the country and talked about how ways we can bring our police departments and our communities together to understand this uh, going forward, how we can have better relations. Absolutely. How do we actually, the Judiciary Committee ought to be working on this instead of what we're doing with an elections bill tomorrow. We're right. we're actually, we should actually be talking about something that matters. And we've certainly been calling out the violence violence and the rioting, but what about the tear gassing of what appeared to be peaceful protesters in Lafayette Park? What about that issue specifically? Well, I think, we, again, is there beginning to, as we just said by your previous guest, they're beginning to, how did they get there anyway after everything has been started over the last few days and, and the, that closeness and perimeter to our city? Why are we not having uh, a more uh, look at how we can actually begin to, to have peaceful protests in ways that people can actually do this? And again, this will be going forward, but I don't want it to take the eye off of what we actually do to fix this. It's going to be easy to get distracted. Mm -hmm. The president is standing strong and he's telling states to stand strong, but also at the same point, we got to have people come together and focus on the problem of these agitators and TIFA and others who are making this something that it's not. And we've got to have a Congress that's willing yeah. to come to work and actually solve this. Uh, and while there is a right for peaceful protests, as you say, we have to keep our eye on something else. Marco Rubio tweeting about this, a bus full of weapons in Ohio. Police in Ohio found a bus near protest filled with bats, rocks and other weapons. But I guess still no evidence, quote unquote, of an organized effort to inject violence and anarchy into a protest, right? So there's the acting Senate Intel Chair, your colleague, uh, Congressman, uh, saying that, there, that there's weapons, there's rocks, they're just almost magically appearing. What is really going on here with these quote unquote protests? Uh, they're not magically appearing. You got in the midst of these thugs and, and, and people who abuse a system. I mean, if you don't believe it, I mean, there was a, a reporter, I think, from um, uh, public broadcasting who said that the president said there's anarchists with no evidence of that. Has, have they looked at the video? Have they mm -hmm. seen the, the anarchist paintings and spraying? The, 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 uh, the ability to go in and look at what's being spray painted and what's being said. This shows that there are uh, connections between this across state lines. I'm glad the attorney general is a part of this uh, because we need to 
to stop this. This can no longer be happening. When we have issues in our country, our country is based on the right of freedom to protest and to, to forcibly mm -hmm. make our grievances known. But we cannot have basic thugs in the middle of this who only want to rob uh, businesses and cause violence. And that's not uh, something that our country should stand for. And especially now when we see police officers in cities that had nothing to do with what's going on being shot. We've got to get back to where we have a, a situation where you have police officers like yep. the one in Minneapolis who had citations. He should have been probably dealt with a long time ago and fired. We need others uh, charged with this because we need to clean up the bad actors because the vast okay. majority of our police officers are good. Congressman Doug Collins, we appreciate your insights this morning. Thank you. Thanks so much, Ed. Take care.